Okay, good morning guys. This is Chef Bumbo again. Today, as I promised uh, yesterday, that I would uh, be preparing the oxtail uh, today. All right, I seasoned it last night and now I'm ready to prepare it. Okay, all right, so here it is guys. All right, so what I'm gonna do, okay. I'm just gonna brown each side a little bit, guys. Get some of these seasoning off. We're gonna need it, but I'm not ready for it yet. Okay, guys, so now it barely, it doesn't have to be brown, brown, you know, the side doesn't have to be extremely brown or cooked, so we just turn it over, flip it over, okay? Mm. Okay, guys, so these are just done, so I'm going to put them to the side, and I'm going to put some more in there. And have your stove in medium heat, guys. Medium. Medium flame. Or setting. Mm, that's so good. Oh my gosh. That's how you know your oxtail is, is seasoned well. Just the smell. Oh. All right, guys, so I'm flipping this side again. All right, just let it brown. Just let it barely brown for about, let's say, five minutes on each side. All right. And, guys, um, in case you're wondering, I had about maybe three teaspoons of oil, tablespoon of oil. Uh, you don't want a lot of oil in it, or else your oxtail is going to be trimming in grease by the time you're done. It's going to be trimming in oil. By the time you're done. And remember, the oxtail is already greasy. Alright, so you only need about three tablespoons to saute the meat. Okay, guys, so now this is done. So I'm going to make another. You don't have to do this. You can just take it out and put it in another, put it in the bowl. But I don't want to get anything else dirty. So I'm just going to put it to the side. Alright. So I have room for the rest. Get your scallion and your onion off. Throw it in there. All the seasoning in here, guys, we're going to use it. But we're going to use it, okay? We're going to use it like when the oxtail is almost done. Not going to go to waste. We're going to save it. All right, so we're going to let this saute. This side saute it for five minutes and then we flip it on the other side. Oh. Okay guys, so this is it. So now I'm gonna break about one, two, three, about four cloves of garlic. I'm gonna put this in here. And the garlic is to soften your meat. It helps soften your meat. Here I have a three cups of water. All right, I'm gonna put three cups of water in there. Okay, and that's not, I'm not going to cover the ox, I'm not going to cover the meat with the water, guys. I, I mean, gradually, if it needs more water, I'm going to put it in there, okay? Because um, we don't want to, we want the ox there to cook in its own juice, all right? Then you're going to get your foil. This is the secret, you're going to get your foil. All right, it's going to be long enough. And then you fold it in two to make it thick, thick enough. All right. Or if you have a thick foil, then that's fine. You just need one sheet. All right. And here we go now, guys. I'm going to put it in the pot. And we're going to seal it. That's a secret. 
That's how I do my oxtail. All right, so, so it will steam its own water. It will cook in its own juice. Okay, guys, and then I'm going to cover it, press it down, all right? And then you're going to turn the stove on low and let it go ahead. And it's kind of like you're using a slow cooker. You could use a slow cooker for this, but I love my pot. I love it the original way. I love it the old time, old fashioned way. All right, so let it be. And you can do whatever. You can do some laundry. You can do whatever, you know, you want. And we're not going to check it for the next hour. All right? Because the, the flame is on. It's low flame. And the foil is going to produce its own uh, liquid. All right? So I'll see you back in an hour, guys. Mm. All right, guys. So this is the rice and peas. Uh, this is the peas for the rice and peas that I'm going to cook to go with the oxtail. All right. If you remember, guys, I soaked it from last night. All right. Here it is. I'm going to throw it in there. And you can use the amount of peas that you want. If you don't like a lot of peas, then you don't use a lot of peas. But I like a lot of peas. All right, guys. And with that, I'm going to put some garlic in there. Again, garlic help to, help to soften your meat or your food cuts down on the cooking time all right and with that I have five cups of water I'm going to throw that in there okay and I'm going to cover it half cover it not just leave a little opening so it doesn't boil over all right so there you have it we'll come back we'll keep checking in another hour hey guys so it's been an hour it's time to check our oxtail all right guys you see no spill nothing at all everything is contained on the inside it's so it's sealed <laughs> Okay, there you go. We still have water. We still have it. Still have a little way to go. See, because it's cooking in its own flavor, guys. Okay, so that's it. So we can wait another hour, hour and a half. All right, and we're gonna seal it back real tight. And we're gonna wait about an hour and a half this time. Ox still takes a while to cook, guys, but trust me, when it's done. You're going to love it. This way. I'm not adding too much water in it. The same water is in it. And here we go. Come back in another hour and a half. Okay, guys. So, here we go. The peas is cooking. All right. It's nowhere, it's nowhere near ready. Give it about another hour and a half. I'm good to go. All right, so your piece should look like this. And if you notice the water, the color of the water, all right. If I had used the one in the can, I would not get this color. So that's why I use the peas from scratch. Okay, see you in about an hour and a half. Okay, guys, after an hour, two hours, your, um, after an hour and a half, sorry, your oxtail is still cooking. So we're going to give it, again, another hour, okay? All right, and it's we don't we won't even need to add any more water. It's the same three cups of water this oxtail has been cooking in for an hour and a half. We won't even need to add any more water, or even if we do, maybe just a little bit. All right, okay. All right, seal it again. Seal it really good. All right, guys. So see you in a bit. All right, guys, so the peas is cooking. Let me, let me test it. Woo, voila, we're ready. We're ready for the next step. All right, guys. All right, so now I'm going to season it. Okay. All right, guys, so I went at, now you need your green onion, otherwise known as scallion. All right, you're going to cut that part off. Okay, you already washed. I already washed it. So then you're going to wash it and you're going to slit it down the line in the center. 
okay there you go all right i have some other here i like a lot of scallion in my rice and peas all right so that's about it okay and you're gonna get a green scotch bonnet pepper right you're gonna wash it you're gonna slit it put it in and another thing guys the ginger you're gonna grate some ginger in there not too much okay That also depends on the amount of rice and peas you're making. All right. And now, Goya coconut milk. That's what I use. I don't grate fresh. This is the closest. This tastes just like the Jamaican coconut. Okay? Milk. So, um, you can grate it. You can grate your coconut or blend your coconut and get the milk if that's what you want. But I love that too. But once I found this years ago... This is the truth. All right. And now you throw your coconut milk in there. Okay, guys. Okay. You get off this, off the side of your pot. All right. Guys, I'm also going to put some... Um, diced up onions in there it doesn't have to be diced i just had this diced up for something else so i'm putting that in there all right and i'm putting some hot jerk seasoning in about a teaspoon okay i'm putting some garlic powder in there And I'm putting some salt okay now the salt take your time with the salt all right you're gonna put a little bit I'm gonna show you just to make sure it's not too much about a teaspoon of salt in there and I'm gonna tell you why in a minute all right guys if you think you need to put a little bit more water like another, maybe a cup of water. That's fine. That depends on the amount of rice that you're cooking. But I'll be using basmati rice, all right, which doesn't need a lot of cooking. So uh, you're going to leave this. Let this cook a little bit, all right. And then when we come back, we'll taste it and make sure everything is fine before we put the rice in it. All right. Enough. You're going to leave a little opening right there so it doesn't boil over See? okay guys so while the um right the peas is cooking in the coconut milk i have four cups of rice all right right here and i'm washing it okay All right, let's go again. I usually wash my rice twice. All right. Uh, some people say that you should wash it till you see the water clear. But that's not my rule of thought. All right. It's your kitchen, your rules. Some people don't even wash rice at all. I'm using basmati rice. And it's still, I mean, nothing is still not wrong. I mean, if they don't want to wash their rice, then that's up to them. That's their kitchen, their food, their business. I wash my rice twice. And not saying that I have to or you have to. It's all up to you. All right, guys. Okay. So I'm gonna, it's going to sit there. All right, and wait another 10 minutes for the cook piece to boil to cook in the coconut milk. All right, see you soon. Okay, guys, so before you put your rice in your pot, you are going to taste it. All right, put a little bit in my pan. Mm. This tastes good, but I need something else. All right. Oh, where's my spoon? <laughs> Get my spoon. 
spoon, look. Okay. All right. I need like a tablespoon of sugar. Okay, just a tablespoon, guys. Not more than that. All right. You don't want your rice to taste sweet. You just want to give it that taste. And I'm going to taste it again. This is good. I also need a little bit more salt. This is why I'd ask not to put too much salt at first. Okay, I'm gonna taste it again. We tasted it this much, guys, because we don't wanna miss the mark. All right, I am putting a half a stick of butter in. So good. Making sure that the flavor is right before I put my rice in. All right, and now I'm gonna put the rice in there. Okay, you're gonna mix it up. You're gonna keep your stove on medium to low heat and you're going to cover it and let it cook okay guys so your rice and peas you're going to turn you're going to okay you're going to mix it make sure there's no rice sticking at the bottom and then you're going to turn your stove on the lowest heat possible the lowest possible turn it on low and let it take its time and simmer. If you notice any rice sticking on the bottom, okay, just kind of push it like this and to get the rice off the bottom. All right, put it on the lowest possible. And also, all right guys, so you're gonna get a piece of foil, you're gonna get a sheet of foil, you're gonna put it over it. You're gonna seal it tightly. Make sure there's no hole in the foil. Okay, you're gonna put your cover on. All right, guys, and I'll we'll check, keep checking it, okay? Make sure we don't have any rice sticking to the bottom. Okay, guys, ready to check the oxtail? All right, let's see what's going on with it. Let's peek at it. Woo, voila, love it, love it. You don't need a lot of water in your oxtail, guys. Love it, it's cooking in its own flavor all right just leave it no rush no hurry just leave it let it cook the meat is pulling away from the bone a little bit all right we're gonna be there soon okay all right okay guys so we'll come back in another hour all right this give you a chance to do some laundry and some other things around the house like i'm doing right now all right, seal it back. Make sure there's no hole in the foil. That's very important. Close it and we'll be back. Hey guys, so we're checking on our rice and peas. All right, Woo! nice, look at that baby. All right, Wait. and guys, you need a fork now. No, no more spoon, you need a fork, okay? To check your rice. For those of you who, you know, maybe it's your first time or something, okay? All right. Ooh, this baby's coming along. Look at this baby, guys. Ooh. If you have a little bit of rice stuck on the bottom, that's fine. As long as it doesn't burn, just keep it on the low flame, guys. Keep it on it, all right? So everything is coming on okay. Everything looks good. All right, when we come back, we're going to take out these scallion. Ooh, my pepper. Ooh, nice. Let me taste it. 
Ooh, Lord. Mmm. Guys. Mmm. You have no idea. All right, so let's close it again and keep it on low. The lowest, lowest, lowest level. Okay, guys, of your stove. Lowest temperature. No worries. All right. And let it continue to steam. Okay? All right. See you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys. So your rice should be done. All right? Woo. I'm going to take this off completely. Your rice should be done. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to take out the pepper. You can just throw it in the cover. We're going to throw this out. Okay? Or you can, you know, when you're sharing, when you're sharing the rice, you can take these out, the green onions and stuff out. You know, you can take that out. You don't have to dig in and take it out before. You can take it out when you're ready to share your dinner, okay? All right, now this is what it looks like. Isn't it yummy, guys? All right, there it is. Mmm. Mmm. Taste it. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, this is good. Mmm. And then you taste a little bit of a, a little bit of ginger in there too. Ooh. Mama. Mm. This is good, guys. All right, guys. So I'm waiting on the oxtail, guys, because they're both going to go together, okay? So the uh, rice and peas is finished, and now we're going to move over to the oxtail. Guys, I forgot to tell you, leave your foil, put your foil back, even though it's done. Put it back until you're ready, okay, to share. All right, guys, so this is the oxtail over here. Woo! Look at this baby. Okay, guys, still have enough juice left in there. We don't need to add any water at all. It's cooking in its own juice, and that's the best part of it, of oxtail. Not a whole lot of water. Just let it cook in its own juice, and I guarantee you it's going to be a bomb. Not just oxtail, but any meat that you cook like this, whew, especially one that takes a while. Guys, if you see it, it's breaking apart. See? Mmm. Mmm. All right, guys. So guess what? It's time for the finale. I don't need this anymore. All right? So I can take this off. Good. All right, guys. You remember I said I was going to save this? Okay, now is the time to put it in. All right, guys? And I got one more thing to put in there too. But now is the time to put it in so it will take all that flavor, you know? The onion and everything. All right, guys? Mm. You don't need the foil anymore if you don't want to keep it because we don't want the oxtail to get too soft, okay? All right, so we can just cover it and forget about it for a few minutes. Okay, guys, so now is when you're going to put your um, stove back up to medium to high, medium, between medium and high heat, uh, right there in between the medium and the high. It's all this liquid to boil out. We don't want it, the oxtail to stay there and simmer, you know, and slow cook anymore. We need fast cooking now, or medium to fast. And then we're going to add our butter bean last, okay? Butter bean, butter bean, butter bean. See you in a few. All right, guys, so you're going to open your can of butter bean and you're going to throw it in. All right, and you're going to mix it around. Okay, you're not going to mix it around too much because I don't want to break up the oxtails because they are cooked. My stove is on high and my pot is open. I'm not going to close the pot because the oxtail is actually cooked. All right. I'm, I'm not going to fully close the pot. I'm going to half close it. Okay? And I'm going to monitor it a little bit more often now. 
All right, guys. See you in a few. Hi, guys. It's me again. Time for dinner. All right, guys. Thank you for uh, staying with me today um, to prepare my Sunday dinner. Like I promised you, I was going to prepare oxtail. Uh, my previous video, I showed you how to season it, and now it's done. I made a little video for the salad, just in case you guys are wondering. Cause um, So I'm going to post that video also, all right, with my handmade sauce and everything. All right, guys, this is my oxtail. Um, it doesn't have a lot of gravy because I'm about to, do to go dig in, you know. So if I need more gravy, I'll add it to it. All right, but that's that's it. That's my oxtail, Jamaican oxtail with rice and peas or rice and beans. All right, and this is my strawberry delight right here, my homemade juice. All right, authentic. All right. Okay, guys, uh, I'll send you a plate. Meet me at the next dish. Like, subscribe, and share. Ciao.